Hi everyone, my name is Beatrix. So today we will be talking about tankas. So what are tankas? Tankas are Tibetan Buddhist paintings on cotton or silk appliques, usually depicting um, Tibetan Buddhist deities, mandalas or scenes. So usually when tankas are not in use, when they are not on display, they are rolled up and stored away respectfully. So tankas you can hang um, in your office or at home at your altar, basically places that are respectful, so definitely not your kitchen or your washroom. In olden days, Tibetans, um, they are nomads, so they travel a lot, they travel around a lot. So it's not so um, convenient to bring along um, Buddha statues, that's why we have tankas. So tankas are easily um, carried around and they can, I mean, they can be easily carried around and they are also portable. So that is why um, when they travel around, they have um, tankas with them. So today I will be showing you how to um, properly display your tanka and also how to um, roll up the tanka and store it away respectfully. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to display your tanka. So first, this is the cover. We have to roll the cover up and put and hang it on the top. So first, we're going to pinch this part here and bring it all the way to the top. Just work your way up. Then when you get to this string here, bring the folds behind the string and pull it forward like this. If you are not satisfied with the fold here, you can always readjust it so that it's um, so that it looks nicer. Okay, then you have to make sure that the two ends here, the two ends here, they have to be equal. So if you see, like currently, it's not um, it's not balanced. You have to somehow make it balanced so that it looks nicer. Then one thing that you have to note is that you have to make sure the cover is high enough so that it doesn't cover the deity's um, faces. Then you see the two silks on, on the tanka. You can either pin it to the side like this or you can hang it behind the tanka. Like this, so that it's out of the way. Okay, now we're going to bring down the tanka and I'm going to show you how to properly roll up the tanka and store it away. Okay, now before we um, bring our tanka down, we have to cover it. So we're going to pull down the cover like this, cover it, then bring back the two silks that you put behind just now. Then we're going to bring it down. Okay, so now we're going to show everyone how to roll up the tanka. So first, you have to make sure the cover is neat and straight and it's not, everything is even, including these silks as well. So make sure it's straight. Then you're going to have to pull the sides here, the ends, and make sure it's tight and roll up. And when you are rolling up the tanka, make sure you do not grab the middle part here because some of the tankas are hand painted, so you do not want to destroy the painting. So you're advised to hold the ends here, the two ends here, and roll up the tanka like this. When you do this, I mean, if you have two persons it will be great because you need the other person to hold the other end of the tanka to make sure that um, you can roll it tightly. But if you do not have two people at home, you can. It's it's fine to do it alone. Okay, when you get to the top. You see these strings here? This is um, what you used to hang the tanka earlier on, so you have to untie it and wrap it around like this. And then you tie a knot. Make sure it's tight, like this. I'm gonna wrap around. Okay, so this is how we roll up our tanka. And of course, you can store it in places that are respectful, somewhere that's high, 
definitely not the kitchen or the washroom. Then you have to make sure that your place is um, not humid. If it's humid, you can always put a dehumidifier to make sure that your tanka is in good condition. So there you have it, that's how we roll up our tanka and store it away. And there are different types of tankas. So there are embroidered tankas. There are appliques. There are also black tankas. Black tankas are called nak tang. Nak is nakpo, means black. Tang tanka, so it's black tanka. Then we have red tanka, golden tanka, and, and all that. So um, this is one of the examples. This is actually canvas. And of course, there are hand-painted hand -painted tankas as well. And if you would like to find out more about tankas, we have a blog post on tembrimuche.com. It's called Remade Tankas. And there are hundreds of tankas for free downloads. So you can download them and hang it at home or in your office. So thank you for watching.